What is up, everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franklin. Welcome back to my main channel or my gaming channel, depending on which channel you're watching right now. For the first time in what, 15, 16, 17 years, however long I've been on YouTube, I am actually uploading the same video on two different channels just because I want people to know, hey, I do have a gaming channel. I might not talk about it too much, but the gaming channel is there. So today I'm kind of breaking that rule. Typically, I don't like doing this. But this is such an important topic to me that I want as many people to know as possible, whether it's my main audience or my gaming audience. So let's jump into it, guys. Today's video is all about my new PC build. I should say new because it's not really entirely new, but most of it is new aside from the motherboard and CPU. But uh, yeah, anyway, I have a lot to talk about, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so for today's video, I am going to use this as an opportunity to say this. Guys, I do have an Amazon influencers list now. Like it, it's it's official, it's live. I haven't really talked about it too much on social media. Actually, I haven't talked about it at all. So uh, yeah, I mean, today's video is an opportunity to just say, look, I do have an influencers list powered by Amazon right now. So in other words, if you wanna see anything that I own, starting with my gaming PC, because as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I have any other lists now. I mean, yeah, I have one for my streaming PC, but that's not live yet. Uh, but anyway, I figured why not kick things off with my gaming PC. So this list is linked right below. Check it out. So first up is this Corsair IQ7000X RGB full tower case. Guys, this is my first case that I've ever had uh, that's full tower. I guess I just click it. Yeah, that's fine. This is my first ever full tower case. I am absolutely loving it. It is Near perfect, absolutely near perfect. I, I, I say that because I don't believe in a truly perfect product. But yeah, as you can see, I definitely paid a lot of money for this. Now, thankfully, that's a normal price. I think I think Newegg charges about 300, but I, I paid a little over 300 because I wanted it quicker. Now, ironically, Amazon took a little longer than they should have, but that's beside the point. Anyway, guys, my first full tower case, I am absolutely in love with this case. It is so beautiful inside and out. The cable management is absolutely incredible. Everything either opens magnetically or via a glass door. It's just so great. It is so great. My NZXT case was awesome. Uh, I don't really have any huge complaints about it besides it being small, but that's not NZXT's fault. It's a mid tower case. Uh, but yeah, let's just say I don't miss having to use thumb screws just to open up my case because this case, I'll say it again, is so easily accessible. There are doors upon doors and magnets upon magnets. It's an absolutely beautiful case inside and out my motherboard this is an asus rog which stands for republic of gamers if you didn't know maximus x hero i think maybe amazon will tell me less time i purchase this now uh but yeah this this, this is my motherboard i'm not going to talk about it too much it's not exactly the most up-to-date motherboard because i originally built this pc what like four years ago uh but yeah i mean it does a job i don't have any major complaints but i will say i'm pretty sure my next pc build is going to be powered by an AMD Ryzen chip, which means, yes, I will have to buy myself a new motherboard. But honestly, I'm in no rush to do that because I've been spending enough money as it is, especially between my case, my GPU, and all that stuff. Okay, my CPU is an Intel Core i7 8700K Coffee Lake. Um, the sockets is LGA1151. Great chip. I mean, I don't have any serious complaints. I, I don't think it's as good as today's technology, but hey, it, it does the job. Um, and I, I don't really see any huge bottleneck in that holds me back from getting a solid 144 frames per second, especially when you pair this with my 3080 Ti GPU. This is my newest component, guys. I just installed this over the weekend. Okay, so this is the Corsair IQ H150i Elite LCD Display Liquid CPU Cooler. This is definitely overkill. Most people don't need this, but I absolutely love this cooler, guys. This display blows my freaking mind seriously you should have seen the huge smile on my face the first time i actually booted this up it's just it's so cool guys i can actually display my fan speeds my cpu load my cpu temps my gpu temps and even a custom gif which i haven't really done yet but i definitely plan on doing that uh but check it out yes you can do a gif of things like cats or whatever you want to put on there i mean it's completely up to you it's so cool it's incredibly incredibly customizable and actually, because I have you guys here, let me let me show you the uh, software. So this is the screen setup. You can choose all these different animations. Look at this. It is the coolest thing I have in my PC, yes. aside from my GPU, of course. This animation is incredible. Look at that. And of course, you can, you can change the temperatures 
uh, colors and all that stuff and the sensors. CPU load is obviously only four or eight right now because I'm not doing much. My streaming PC is doing all the heavy lifting for today's video. And of course I can show you other things like my motherboard temperatures, uh, my coolant temp, and my fan speeds and all that stuff, which is really neat. I love this cooler, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't mind spending a little bit of money on a premium product, check this out. It will blow your mind. Seriously, it's that good. I am in love with this product. Okay, enough uh, plugging Corsair. I'm just a huge, huge fan of that product. Okay, this is the most expensive components I've bought myself in a long time, at least for PC gaming. This is the EVGA GeForce RTX ray tracing baby 3080 ti ftw3 ultra gaming edition with 12 gigabytes of vram i did previously buy myself the 3070 ti with what was it nine gigs of vram let me see or was it eight it was eight i'm sorry it's never nine i'm, I'm sorry i'm dumb so eight eight gigs of vram which is enough for most people but i will tell you not that i recommend maxing out your settings in warzone uh but i did max out my settings briefly j just to test the waters and I was quickly almost filling out my VRAM with just Warzone. So I can imagine with a single player game, which I would max out. Uh, for example, tonight I'll be playing Resident Evil Village on my Twitch streams. I'm so excited. And that I'm going to max out. I just, I just, I just want to see what I can get away with in terms of textures and overall quality and high frames and all that stuff. Anyway, I returned to 3070 Ti. I installed the 3080 Ti. And there is a difference. There is a big, big difference. I now get a solid 144 frames per second once I land in Warzone. I say once because th there's still something weird about that game. Uh, for example, when, when you're in the plane and landing, it, it, it can drop to like 100 to 120 frames. I don't know why. Warzone is, a, is just a not very well optimized game. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Uh, but anyway, I'm extremely happy with the 3080 Ti. A little pricey, but still definitely a lot better than what it used to be in terms of price. So this is my uh, RAM. Sorry, I almost said VRAM. I have 32 gigabytes of this actually. So I have four, six of eight. Um, I have had zero issues with this RAM. It's been absolutely perfect. Uh, it's G-Skill Trident Z. This is very popular RAM. There's a good chance you've, you've seen this before uh, because I think mo most people have this RAM. It just, it just works, you know, it just works and it's affordable. Samsung 850 EVO one terabyte SSD. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but this is my primary SSD. Prices, I, I don't know why the price is so high, but I got this a while ago. Actually, does it show my order number? Yeah, check that out. I mean, my order date, November 8th, 2017. So it's been a little while. This one I just bought the other day randomly because I figured why not put another SSD in this newly built PC? Well, because I'll say this, this new PC build has zero hard drives. I don't want any mechanical spinning disks in this PC. This is an SSD only build. So I figured why not get another one terabyte, but instead of a Samsung 850, I got myself a Samsung 870. I'm not sure the difference, maybe slightly increased um, read and write speeds, I'm not sure. But it's an SSD, it does its job, and check this out. Go to my computer, drag this over, there it is. I have yet to even, sorry, over there. I have, I have yet to even use it yet, guys. It's a brand new SSD with absolutely nothing on it. So it's kind of my secondary SSD for those bigger games, um, but it's really nice having that extra storage. This is my new EVGA power supply units. I previously had one from Corsair, but because I got an EVGA GPU, I wanted my PSU to match. Call me weird, I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I wanted it, I got it for less than $100, pre-tax of course, uh, but this is an 850 watts. And if you're curious, between my i7 8700K CPU, my RTX 3080 TP, yeah, TPI, toilet paper, TI, GPU, and everything else, I have yet to have any issues with 850 watts. So I'm pretty sure that's the sweet spot. You can get 1,000 watts, but check it out. The price increase is quite a bit. Yeah, look at that. We go from 95 to $150. I, I guess that's not going to really break your bank, uh, but most people don't need 1,000 watts. Most people definitely don't need that. Um, but I'll say it again, between my 8700K and 3080 Ti, I've had zero issues with the drawing power. So this I couldn't find by itself, so it's bundled, but I only have this keyboard. This is the glorious GMMK. Um, this is a modular keyboard with, I believe, brown switches. I love this keyboard. Eventually, I'm going to get a new one because I like to mix it up now and then. Uh, but I don't really have any serious complaints about this keyboard. It's great. I, th I think the whole glorious PC master race is very, very douchey. Uh, but Glorious does make good products. So, you know, I'll give him that. 
Next up is this, the Razer Naga X mouse. I'm holding it right now. I honestly can't imagine myself not using a mouse that does not have MMO buttons on the side because I'm telling you, I use these buttons religiously. One and two are usually my weapons. Three is my knife, for instance, in um, uh, Valorant. But three is usually my lethal equipment in games like Warzone. So that would be my throwing knife or my grenades or something like that. Uh, four, what do I use four for? Oh, that's 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 used for Apex. Oh, four is for arming and disarming the bomb in Valorant. But I, I use four for um, games like Apex. Five is typically heal. Five is always heal for putting on my shields and stuff like that. And six is for inspecting my weapons and whatever else I want to do. Seven through 12, I don't use as often, but it is really, really nice having those extra keys. So guys, I'll say it one more time. I can't imagine not having an MMO keypad on my thumb. It makes gaming so much easier, in my opinion. So much easier. I, I, I don't know how people get away with those glorious mice or whatever they're called uh, with only like two buttons on the side. Blows my mind how people get away with such a small mouse footprint, but I guess that's why people like it because it's, it's incredibly light. But I'll say this, guys. The Razer Naga X is so much lighter than the Razer Naga Trinity. So much lighter. And I love this mouse. I love everything about it. Razer doesn't have the best track record with quality control. But I've never had any serious issues. Next up, I clicked on the wrong thing. Give me a second. This is the Glorious PC Gaming Ray. I hate that so much. But Glorious, again, good brand. Um, this is a very, very large mouse pad. This is their extra, extra large. 18 by 36. Plenty big. Fun fact, I spilled an entire cup of coffee on it on my first day of going live on YouTube over a year ago. Um, so I bought another one because I didn't feel like cleaning it. Call me lazy. Don't care. Um, but I bought a new one because I like things new. I don't know, that's just me. This, come here guys, come here. Look at me, right? Listen, if you're serious about content, Amazon, why is your picture so shitty? There you go. Wait, that's weird. It's high res here, but not high res on the actual page. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you're serious about content creation and you have a shimmy PC, you absolutely need something like this. You don't need the Go XLR, but you definitely need a mixer to make things easier. And I love my Go XLR. Love it, love it, love it. I don't regret a single thing about this mixer. For instance, okay, I can turn turn my mic down, and then I can turn it back up. I can change my music. I can change everything. It's so useful for quickly muting things like Discord or even playing sound effects like this. That's the kind of shit I deal with for my friends. But I love my friends. What's up, Logan? Uh, but yeah, it's great. I can do effects. What up, ladies? Haha, <laughs> you doing anything later? And stuff like that. And of course, you have um, so many presets and stuff like that. Like, I love this mixer. Definitely a little pricey, but man, I'll say it again, guys. If you're serious about content creation, don't be a sayer. Be a doer. Buy this thing. It will change your content creation life. And I'm not over-exaggerating. I love this mixer so much. Okay, next up, the Sennheiser HD 650. Uh, headphones. I don't have this with me. I, I don't know why that's there, um, but I, I, I guess that's the best one I can find on Amazon. Uh, anyway, there you go. Sennheiser HD 650s. Th these are big cans, but um, I, I don't really have any major complaints about them. Besides the lack of bass, I mean, but th th these aren't meant to be very bass heavy headphones, uh, but these, these are open back. I like being able to have my ears breathe, if you will. I, I don't like closed headphones because I feel like People are yelling. Shout out to my dude, Danny. I don't know if you realize this, dude, but you're always yelling on Discord. You're always yelling. Um, but if I had to give anybody a tip, if you don't like open back headphones, um, at least turn on voice monitoring. For example, I can hear myself right now. I, I can hear my own voice. It blows my mind why people don't use voice monitoring uh, because in my opinion, that's just a huge factor that goes into content creation and quality control as a whole. I mean, guys, isn't it nice knowing that you can hear yourself? Because if you can hear yourself, that means others can hear you and well, you know exactly what they're going to hear. So please, my biggest tip to you, turn on voice monitoring. I don't know why people wouldn't. Audio-Technica AT2035 microphone. I love this microphone. It's right here. I currently have a little uh, windscreen on it. So this road thing gets a little creaky, uh, but there it is. Amazon is doing that thing again where the actual product, product images are blurry until you click them. That's weird. I wonder if it's a Chrome thing. Anyway, I don't really have any complaints about this microphone, guys. I mean, listen to this. It sounds so good. But definitely put a windscreen on it. So listen, pop, pop, pop. Ready? Pop, pop. 
พับพับพับพับพับพับพับพับพับพับพับ You might not notice a huge difference, but believe me, it makes a difference. And actually, I just noticed I I didn't have my windscreen on here, but who cares? This is like a no-name brand. Next up, not speaking of no-name brand, this was actually sent to me. Wait, no, I bought it myself. Oh, 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 okay, that's right. Rode sent me a microphone, which is my backup microphone. Anyway, this this I did by myself. This is the Rode PSA One mic arm. It's a little creaky. Listen to this. But that's 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 anything with a hinge. You just gotta spray some Dub D40 on there, um, and, and it should be okay. But I don't regret this mic arm at all. It's a little pricey when you compare it to the newer brand. I think it's N E W E E R or N E E W E R, something like that. Uh, but basically, this is definitely higher quality. I I can feel the weight on it, which is very very nice, um, and I love it. So, Dell. Dell isn't exactly a cool brand nowadays, but man, I will tell you guys this: they have some kick-ass monitors. I have three of these in front of me right now. I love them. Dell S2716 DGR 27-inch, uh, 144 hertz. Guys, if you're not gaming at over 100, I mean 60 hertz, what are you doing? And please make sure it's turned on in your NVIDIA control panel, whatever they call it. it, it it's so funny to me when people get like a 120 hertz monitor, but they're still gaming in 60 hertz. Believe me, there's a huge difference. Games are so buttery smooth. I mean, guys, it's like that that 10 minutes I had my iPad Air for. As soon as I saw that 60 hertz display, I wanted to vom. Seriously, 60 hertz is disgusting. Go with at least 120 hertz. Um, but man, these these monitors are great. Now, with that said, nowadays you can definitely get a better deal for less and stuff like that. But keep in mind, I, I bought this, what, in 27, or actually 2018, I think I got my third one. Uh, but hold on, Zero. He's out there meowing. He really, really wants to come in. And finally, to wrap it up, I just realized my desk isn't on here, but that's because it's autonomous. I don't think Amazon sells autonomous products. Uh, but yeah, I do I do have a standing desk of here, if you're curious. Uh, this is the Govee Smart LED Strip. Um, I have multiple of these. I think one's under my desk right now. One's under that desk. One's behind me. Hold on. It's the wrong overlay, but that's okay. One's behind the bookshelf that goes on automatically at nighttime. Um, but yeah, guys, Govee is a great brand. I don't mind Philips Hue, but yeah, I, th I think everybody will agree with me when I say this. Govee is just a better deal. Much, much better deal. Uh, for example, this is a $22 kit. From Philips Hue, they would probably charge you, <laughs> my guess is at least $50. For arguably the same exact technology blows my mind so guys govi is the go-to brand for leds so guys there you have it that is my gaming pc in a nutshell uh this this video did go a little long hopefully i'm recording yeah yeah i am i'm good um i, I didn't talk about my key lights because that's going to be in another video eventually because that's technically part of my streaming pc but i can easily turn that off check this out on my stream deck and I will, and I will be talking about my stream deck in another video as well. I mean, look at that. I can, I can turn off my hue lights behind me with ease. I love it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything you saw today, please let me know right below in the comment section right below. I'm always here to answer your questions. I may not see that comment right away. So if you want a quicker answer, reach out to me on Twitter, email me, stuff like that. Uh, but hey, if anything, if you want to check out any of these products, it is linked right below via my Amazon influencers list. Oh, and also I realized I didn't, I didn't really talk about my fans, uh, but the fans came included with the case um, and my USB hub I have plugged in my motherboard. It's a, it's a no name, uh, but I, I do strongly believe it's nice to have extra USB ports because you never know what you want to add. Uh, but still, even with that said, I have a feeling I missed something, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Thank you.